Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I got home from the gym today and I had not one but two Timu packages waiting for me on my porch. So let's just jump right into this. There will be cats in the background. They will more than likely knock over my tripod. But we're making progress here without them like climbing on the walls while I'm doing these. So in the meantime, let's just jump into this. I know I got some Christmas stuff, but very, very little. So let's just let's just see what we got going here. I do have a microphone. Hopefully it's working a little better this time than it is last time. I'm not really testing it out. We're just gonna, we're gonna get on in. So here's package number one. And I have my handy dandy box cutter with me. So, ooh, this, this already, <laughs> this already looks kind of exciting. I see some Christmas stuff on the top. I think it's pajamas. So, Let's see what we have got here. This is not pajamas or Christmas. So my garbage can is close by. Good thinking. So here it says, I'm going to wear this to the gym. Of course, I came, I saw, I had anxiety, so I left. It's just a little tank top, crop top. It looks a little big, but I guess for the gym, that's good. Um, to have like a loose top, I don't want to wear something super, super tight. And here is a pajama set from Timu. The pajama sets, the lounge sets, the bra and undie sets. I love them. I'm kind of obsessed. Whenever I place an order, there's always a pajama set or a lounge set in them. And today apparently is no exception. This is a Christmassy set. It's got the little shorts with little, little mittens and socks and candy canes and a little ribbon. And the top is just a cami. We're going to do a quick smell check it doesn't smell all right i can't stress enough don't get your little pj sets like this the cutesy wootsy ones like the seasonal ones don't get them from target don't get them from walmart don't get them from vicky sicky just get them from timu they're super inexpensive and they're cute and they you know they serve their purpose and i just dropped stuff another thing that would not be complete i'm going to i went from nude um and neutral toned nails i'm trying to do like a red nail thing right now i do have a couple sets of christmas nails i think in one of these orders but as you can tell i saw something online about like red nail theory and we're just we're testing it out so i got a couple shades of red this is more of like a deep dark red and this is more of like an orangey red this is more blue tone or cool tone this is more warm tone so we're just gonna test these out I love, and they're short, so I don't have to cut them because <laughs> when they're too long, I can keep them for a couple days and then I chop them off for work. The Timu press-ons, ladies or gentlemen, the Timu press-ons are what's up. Um, I did buy a pair from Amazon because I like needed a pair the next day, even though I have 500 pairs of press-ons and it's just get them from Timu. It's the same thing. Um, I do like my big t-shirts for the gym when I'm wearing shorts. So I did get this shirt on Timu. Um, if you have seen the Barbie movie, you guys ever think about dying? <laughs> so I'm going to wear this to the gym. I did get a size large or extra large. It's a big oversized t-shirt. Just a bam. It's a good quality shirt. It's soft. It's stretchy. It's very soft actually. Sometimes when you order from Romwe or Shein, you get this like plasticky weird material but the vinyl decal is nice it's gonna come off because these always come off in the wash after like 20 times of washing them but this is it like it feels like a good quality shirt it feels like it's made for the gym too does it have the fabric content in here because this feels like gym material um this is it does not say i'm sure it says it somewhere I just we're not looking for that right now but it's soft and stretchy and this is just something for like house stuff. This is like, I'm not going to open it up. So this right here is like caulk, like a waterproof caulk thing. I'm going to put around the base of the toilet instead of recaulking it every six months or every year. This is just like a tape. It's not as good as caulk, but stuff happens. You don't want to recaulk. How many times am I going to say caulk? You don't want to recaulk on your toilet seat so constantly. So this, I'm just going to try it out. I'll put a picture here um, of the, the item description so you know what I mean. But it's just for the base of the toilet seat to the floor. Just for a little added protection. 
I don't want to recock it. The caulking is fine. It's not damaged. It's just discolored and I don't I don't feel like recocking it. So if I don't have to, I'm not going to. And these are, I might swap this out for this right now. These are just little box cutters specifically for for these videos because these are from these are for work. These are just little cutters and they're shaped like little kitty cat paws because I'm a cat lady. There's three in the pack. And they have little and they go right down. So when you're not holding it, it goes. I might actually take one of these to work. So when you're not holding it, it just boop, it goes right down. They're super cute. They have a little hole right here. So if you want to put a string in them, they do not come with a string. But I like kitty cats and I like box cutters. So these are teeny tiny little box cutters. Very cute. More nails, more red nails. Are these the same ones? No, these are the same ones. I'm pulling out the same ones again. Whoopsie. And these are pot scrubbers. I think you know how the bottom of your pan pots and pans, they get black. We're going to test these out. I did buy a set of like 20 magic erasers. Oh no, my microphone. From Timu. And one second. Technical difficulties. Don't know where we left off. But they work just as good as the real Mr. Clean magic erasers. Hopefully... I'm able to edit out the crashing noise of my microphone hitting the floor. Um, if not, sorry, but I am trying to rush through these hauls. I know I would like to take my time with them, but I feel like people lose interest when I don't just rush through the stuff that I get, even though I think, I think it's great. I, oh, I got leggings for the gym. Okay. So I'm always wary about buying about buying leggings from these sites because sometimes they come and they are awful. Like today I got in some from Shein and I like I'm going to do another haul for that. But I I don't think I can wear them to the gym. I'm going to keep them because they're cute. But I don't think I can wear them to the gym. So these I'm going to put up another picture right here. Remember to put up picture Megan. This is my sign for me to put up the picture. So first. Okay, so they don't smell at all. So this is the back. It's like an open cross back, not too open, just a little bit. You see how it's just a little, a little open. It's not a pocket or anything. It's just like a ribbony back. Let's see if they are super see-through because sometimes that happens. And they are, they're not at all. So these are great. They're seven eighths length. I got them in a medium. And they are very cute. There's no pockets or anything, but the back is really, really nice. So these are for the gym and these I can actually wear to the gym. The pair I got today from Shein, it's, they're thin, they came kind of stinky and they have this weird waistband. Like they have the waistbands that my pajamas have, which I don't want to wear that at the gym. That's uncomfortable. That doesn't, that doesn't sound, stay where I put you. That doesn't sound fun at all. This is a rock. Is this a pumice stone? I'm assuming this is a pumice stone. So I've ordered a lot of foot care from Timu. I've ordered a lot of shower, um, like accessories from Timu. So I just grabbed the pumice stones and go in the bag, honey. Say hello. <laughs> so I grabbed the pumice stone. It looks fine. I prefer foot files, but I think that this is good to have as an option. So we'll see. And for the price, it's not... It's not going to hurt me that much if I don't, if I don't use it. And here, I got another purse. This is my fourth purse from Timu. I am not a purse girl, but Timu is turning into a purse girl because they're cute. And they're, what are you playing with? Because they're cute and they're inexpensive. So here we go. Are you ready for the unveil? I think this has a heart on it. I think this has a heart, like a little love heart. And if it does, I'm going to be amused because that's not... Oh, it does. Because that's not something I would reach for. But I saw this and it was so cute. This is cute. I don't know. Like, it feels like I gotta use this every day. I feel like it's just neutral enough to use it every day. But just fancy enough to be a little silly. This might be a, a little young for me. But I think it's super cute. And it feels nice. Like, I know it's not leather. But it feels like leather babies stop playing with that. And it has. Like, it has a snap lid so it snaps and then there's a zipper so nobody's nobody's gonna steal from me and it has a leather chain 
and it has a dividing zip top pocket and another zipper back there so it's a small purse like you're not going to fit an ipad and you're not going to fit your life in here this is just like an evening bag or if you don't take a lot to work like i don't take a lot to work and then this is this is nice that's nice and i got i don't know what this is baby stop he's playing with a brush like I got them a brush to rub their faces on and he's playing with it, but it's also knocking you guys around. <laughs> um, I've gotten a lot of makeup brushes from Timu also. Ladies, I'm telling you, don't sleep on the Timu makeup brushes. They are lovely. I don't know about the makeup itself. I only use a blush that I got from Timu. Oh, she's soft. This is just one brush. And he wanted a red one. Here we go. She feels very like, like it's a sword. Mm, no, never mind. It's not a sword. It's not perfectly balanced, but the bristles are very soft. This is a very nice brush. Oh, no. And then again, it doesn't smell. And I love that nothing, nothing so far has had a weird smell. Nothing I've gotten from Timu. And these, I think these are some boxers that I got from MEMs. I'm pretty sure these are boxers. They, <laughs> they are. All right, so these are silly. He's going to hate them. <laughs> He's going to hate these. He's never going to wear them, but I'm amused. So here we go. Here we go. He's absolutely going to hate these. I got him some bo some boxer briefs. Um, They're silly. They're ridiculous. He's not going to wear them. If he doesn't wear them, I'll, I'll wear them. I don't care. I'll wear them as pajamas. Um, But yeah, I don't know how that's going to fly with him but we will see i really hope i keep knocking the microphone over and i really hope that you guys can hear me okay and i don't have to re-record this like i did last time because it won't be as joyful it's never as joyful when you have to re-record oh no did i do what i think i did did i order the second oh no okay. i thought i ordered the same pair of leggings twice so these are for the gym also these are very very high-waisted um this is probably going to be for an arm day because it's so high-waisted. I can't imagine doing legs with this. I can't even imagine doing core with this. But stretchy. Ladies, like, they're stretch-proof. I know they're black, but they're stretch-proof. And if you go to the gym and you do squats or you do deadlifts, you don't want to bend over and have everybody seeing your, your panties, okay? But this has, like, a waist, a cinched hook and eye closure waist thingy for like to really really suck you in and it's not like a fake waistband it's not like a strip of elastic here and then this is all like it's a full how many inches is this this is like a full four inches four and a half inches of just waistband so it's actually what they advertise the one i got today from shein not it wasn't it that was not it and I know you haven't seen it, so you don't know what I'm comparing it to, but that's that's what I wanted, and that's what I got. This, I thought, was going to be bigger. So this is just an angled foundation blush, brush, or a contour brush. This one, not as great. The bristles aren't as soft. Well, they're soft. Actually, no, it's a nice brush. It's just very concentrated, so it's just a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So I guess this is more for contouring than anything else i'm not a makeup person i'm sorry i'm trying i'm learning but here we go it's very small i have very small hands so this is very small but we'll see she's soft the bristles don't smell bad and then i got a ring Kimu jewelry is hit or miss just like everywhere else um some of it turns like it's costume jewelry you're not gonna get diamond rings over here or anything but it's costume jewelry it's just for fun so here is a ring. Oh no. It might be a little, I'm going to put it on the wrong hand just to like, just so you can see it better. So here we go. She is black. I think this is a Firestone. Firestone is a, I don't know what it's called. But she's not a real crystal or anything. You can't really see it too well. Let me take it off and see if you can see it better. So here we go. She's very pretty. Just for some costume jewelry. I think she's very nice. Very, very nice. And I got this for the kitchen because I hate the one we have. The one we have is just like a plastic 
Tupperware thing that we've been using. So I just got this. It's plastic. It's plastic also, but it looks nicer. And it says kitchen utensils in case you didn't know what you were putting in there. In case you, you couldn't figure it out. It says kitchen utensils. I kind of hate this, but I'm like, eh. Um, so yeah, this is cute for the kitchen. What does it say on the bottom? Kitchen utensils set utensil organizers. Organizers is spelled wrong. So I don't think uh, that was supposed to be on there, to be perfectly honest. And uh, they spelled organizers wrong, which makes my heart happy. <laughs> and this is the last thing in this bag. Don't worry, there's a whole other bag. But this is a foot spa. And there's no bubblies in it or anything. Um, it doesn't have water jets. It doesn't have like a motor. Do they have motors? But it does pop up and out. And I don't want to make a lot of noise. So let's try to do this noiselessly. Oh. So here we go. There we go. And it just pops up and has a little place for your feetsies. And you can, it has little bumps. So you can rub your feet on them. And then I'm not sure what the tray is for. I guess you put the tray in over your feet and you put like your phone in there. I don't like that. I don't understand, but it's cool, I guess for, and I, like I need compact stuff because I don't have a lot of space for all this stuff. And it's like, well, why don't you stop buying stuff? Look, I had my minimalism journey already. Okay. And I got rid of all my stuff. So let me enjoy hoarding a little bit. I declutter all the time. Let me have my, collapsible foot spa. Let me be happy. Let me be happy. Let me get the plastic bag away from the cat. Please hold. Nope. It's not for you. He thinks it's for him. It is not for him. See, I keep on like blooping. Like blooping. I don't want it to bloop anymore. All right. Humans, here is package number two. If the audio quality on this is as bad as I think it's going to be, if it keeps going in and out, I'm going to have to re-record this, which I really, really don't want to do. Oh, yay! So I do have a bit of a crystal collection, um, and it's actually in my closet. It's not on display or anything, and that makes me kind of sad. So I got this shelf for the smaller crystals. I think I'm actually going to paint it white because... As cute as this is in black, it doesn't really fit anything in my room. So I think I'm going to, that's not for you. So I think I'm actually going to paint it white, but here it is. I, it looks bigger on the website, but I think the size is great. It has the little cutout moons. It's definitely wood and it's painted black. It has a little scratches, but I think it was like four bucks. So it was going to be mad and it's just going to fit on my little... My little crystals, not my big ones, obviously. Maybe like a plant. No, this is, the shelf is like less than an inch long. No, it's about an inch. The shelf is about an inch long, so it'll just fit a couple like tower crystals. Just plop that right on the wall, and it comes with this to hang it with. Even though I don't see anywhere to hang it, unless you literally hang it through the moons. But that's silly, so I'm going to, I'm going to have to drill a hole through this, I suppose. Because I'm not putting my crystals on this and sticking it on the wall with command tape. No, no, no. I do not trust command tape that much. No, no, no. All right. Here I got two Christmas towels. Here's one. The other one is pretty much the same. And I don't see it yet. But when it pops up, I will show it to you. And, oh, they're bigger than I thought they were going to be. So here, it's a two set. Let me show you the less cute one first. The less cute of the two. It's just blue. It's not upside down. It's folded in half. So, hello winter with a little kitty cat. And then the one with the little kitty cat. And this looks like one of my boys. So I had to get it. It's just, look how cute he is. He's a little cutie. Um, and on you can fold him over so it's the same on both sides. And he is in the bag. Let me just keep an eye on him so I know nothing bad happens. Little cutie. And here's another lounge set. I Like I said, like I said, it is not a team order for me without a lounge set or a PJ set. So here's another one. And this is supposed to be a gym set, but I don't see myself wearing this to the gym. I usually wear black to the gym, but oh no, this is too see-through for the gym. Oh no, I can't, I can't wear this to the gym. This is for home. 
Like I can already see, maybe you can't see it, but she is, she is see-through. I'm going to post a picture of it right here. So if anybody's thinking of getting this to wear to the gym, you know that this is not for Jimmy. Well, not for me. If you want to wear it to the gym, be my guest. But this is loungewear. It feels like loungewear. The elastic band is not this wide. It looks like this is all elastic. The only elastic is this right here, this half inch at the top. So it's like a fake waistband. No, I would not wear this to the gym. She is cute though. I'm going to show you the matching top. The top is the cutest part. The top maybe I can wear to the gym on like a cardio day, but the top is super cute. She is padded, which I like removable pads. They can, you know, they add a little <laughs> when I'm at the gym because otherwise it's not, it's not as cute, but the top is cute. It has a little cutout. The back is just normal strappies. It's going to be very low support. So like I said, maybe not on a cardio day, but leggings are not, leggings are not for the gym. <laughs> Definitely not. And then, oh, I was going to say, I don't know what this is. It's headphones. I've bought a pair of headphones from Tina before, and I, I left them at the gym. But here we go, same thing. I don't feel bad about wearing these to the gym. I don't feel bad if I lose them, even though I'm not going to go out of my way to lose them. But they're this. They're not the best quality. They're not Beats quality. They're not, like... Even JBLs are great to wear to the gym. These are like a little less, I sound muffled. These are a little lower quality than the JBLs. When JBLs are like 20 bucks, these are less than 10. What do they say on the side? Nothing. So I got this minty green color. They're cute. I'm sorry, that sounded annoying. They're cute. This is going to get dirty. This is going to get dirty. My Beats ones got filthy. I had to get little covers for my Beats. But... For the gym, for the gym, I'd rather just have honestly some garbage headphones because I get sweaty and icky and I want big headphones at the gym sometimes because I want to make it very clear that I'm not here to talk to you. And when I wear my little inner ear headphones, people still try to talk to me and I'm like, what do you want? Literally, you can't tell I'm busy. So I know that sounds snooty, but I'm not, I'm not there to make friends. I'm there to, you know, not make friends. Um, everybody's been buying the cow house slippers. I wanted them. But they've been getting like the black and white dairy cow one. As you can tell, I have a thing for Scotland. So I got the cues. I got the little Highland cues. Um, they're soft. They're terry cloth. The bottom is nice. It feels like rubber. And they are slip proof. You can see. They're so cute. I want to put these on right now. They will get fluffy in my house because of all the fur babies, but I do not care because I love, I love them. Look how cute they are. And the inside has the, has the terry cloth too. So they're very soft. And we're not, we're not done folks. There's actually quite a bit in this bag. I got a shower cap because I'm trying to fix my hair as I've said a million times and I don't want to get it wet when I'm not intending to get it wet. My hair is no longer green guys. Check that out but i got this cute little shower cap because i'm sick of the ones that like walmart and target and it's got little stars and moons it's got a liner with the stars and the moons and then the inside is just a normal normal shower cap but it's cuter and i wanted a cute one and if anybody has a problem with that i don't care <laughs> i wanted a cute one here is um here is my obligatory pajama set I need to stop. I need to stop with the pajama sets because my pajama drawer is getting full. So this is going to be the last one I get for a while, I promise, until Valentine's Day because I know they're going to have cute ones. So here we go. Stars and moons. Just the little shorts. Very cute. These kind of smell a little bit, but that'll go away. It's not like ingrained into the fabric, but these smell like they just came off the line. Usually that's not the thing with the pajamas, but these have a little bit of that smell. But here we go. It's got a little lettuce trim edge. Nice little cami. They're very soft. These are so nice to sleep in. You have no idea. And when I wake up and make coffee, it's just, it's nice to lounge around in them. I am a fan. I think these are the only nails. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. I think these are the only nails in this order. So here we go. Just some Christmas nails. So I got some red ones with snowflakes. 
and some black ones with snowflakes and like always I'm going to be able to wear them long for one or two days and then cut them to about this length so I can wear them at work and here is the towels part two so here we go it's the same towel ish ish but in red and i can't wait to put these in my bath oh, i'm so excited for me i'm not a christmas girly but i'm excited to decorate a little bit so they say merry christmas the same thing but in red and this kitty cat says believe and his little star oh my god he looks just like my baby and i can't the fact that it looks like my cat like my older cat like my my smart guy it just and there's like a pillow and a tablecloth and a rug, a bunch of stuff that I just stuck to the towels. And then this is a little teeny tiny scalp massage. A teeny tiny one. She is small. So scalp massages are usually about the size of the palm of my hand or a little bit bigger. This is teeny. She is very small. You're going to see how small she is. And you put your finger in her mate. You just put your fingers. Maybe it's not a scalp massage or maybe I'm weird, but no, this is definitely a scalp massage. Oh, this feels nice. Okay. So you put your fingers. That's if you know what I'm never mind. This this is a family channel. So here you go. It's a kind of a mean, scary looking bunny with a little button eye. It's a little massager. I guess I could use this for the cats too. Maybe I should look and see if this is for pets. Is this for pets? Did I think it was a scalp massage and it's for pets? I'm going to use it as a scalp massager, but very soft bristles, and then you can put your hand in there. So that's cute. I thought it was going to be bigger. So if you see this, know that she is small, about, hmm, yeah, about half the size of a regular scalp massager, I say. Half the size sounds about right. And then, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is just a normal tank top. Kind of, sort of. Uh, not for the gym, just for chilling around the house. I got this cute little, because uh, I don't go anywhere. I go to the gym and like the grocery store and work and that's it. So, but this is just to hang out around the house when it's extra hot. Please keep in mind I live in Florida. So it's just a tank top. I'll put a picture up here so you can see what it looks like better because it doesn't look that great holding it up. But it's got a little cutout with a little heart. She has padding. Let me just show you the little, see? That's kind of what holds it together. And it's just a little bra top, a little crop top. Um, I'll wear with sweatpants. I like, I like to be cozy at home. I like to wear big pants or little shorts. I just, it's hot here, okay? And I got one, two, three more crystals. If you've seen one of my other hauls, you know that I got some kitty cat and puppy dog crystals. And I got a couple more. Just for, for my kitties and my baby boys and my baby puppies. So I don't remember if I got two dogs and one cat or one cat and two dogs. But let's see. The packaging is very good. I'm having to cut through quite a bit of um, ah, quite a bit of packaging here. So they will come protected. Oh, it's a pup. Oh, she's bigger than the other ones. Okay, so this is supposed to be rose quartz. But it looks like she was out in the sun a little bit, so she looks white. Kind of disappointing. So it's not. She's very white. So this um this is a rose quartz wolf. Um, I got it for my for my huskies, but um she looks just white. So it's a little disappointing that she came. It looks like she was out in the sun, or maybe it's just my lighting. No, she looks like she was out in the sun, so she lost some of her pinkness, but she's still very cute. Obviously, still gonna keep it. You can go right there for now. And I'm guessing these two are both kitty cats. Kitty cats. And these are the last two items. So we rushed through this haul because that's what I do here. Um, because otherwise, we would really be here for an hour, which is fun for me. I like watching Team Will Hauls that are an hour long. But I want you guys to stick around. I want, I want you guys to hang out with me, and if I take an hour, maybe you'll, maybe you'll leave, and you won't get to see the, the crystal, the crystal kitty cats, and that would make me sad. So here we go, I got two crystal kitty cats, one for each of my boys. Here we go, neither of them came broken or chipped, they're in the same pose, but two different stones. Here we go. 
and they are cute. So the only thing I can say is if you buy the little crystals, um, maybe don't buy rose quartz or amethyst. I haven't bought any amethyst on there, but if the rose quartz comes like sun bleached, I'm worried that amethyst would do the same. So that, whoop, I don't want to brawl. I don't want you to fall. So here we go. Two little cute crystal kitty cats. There we go. My nails are a little chipped. Don't, don't look at them. So they are very cute. That is everything. I have to put all of this away now, which is daunting. Um, I'm going to come back in a couple days with my Shein haul. It's just going to be some workout clothes, but I hope you'll check that out with me also. Just to see if you're into like, maybe just even if it's going for walks, if you want to get some cute little workout clothes from Shein, see if these are your style. But that is everything I have for you today. I hope you'll come back and join me and my kitty cats again soon. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.